Tops of the middle of the day to you boys and girls. We're going to do a little saw off taste test comparison, if you will. And we have an MS 462. It has the Insane OSS version zip kit. We're going to run it against my 461. That is Psycho and a half. So Psycho S, I guess. Technically, it's a little, it's kind of in between the Psycho SS and the Psycho, which are the top two in the list of six zip kit choices. It received a new piston straight away. We're not going to run it too hard at this point. The tachometer kicks off in the 462s at 13,560. That's as high as I've seen. The limit's actually a little bit higher, but with the interrupted spark, that's the readout that you get. So we're not going to spin this up any much, any too much higher, I guess, technically. Um, my prediction is it's going to win, and it's going to win by a few seconds. I'm flying solo, so I don't have any tack help while we're cutting, but you'll be able to hear them running, essentially. Check the description for a comparison with the timed runs. I'll scrutinize the original clip fairly heavily and post the findings in there. 30-inch um, Oregon lightweight bar. There's no part number for that again. I conjured that up myself. And we actually have some Husqvarna full comp chain on today just because we're switching things up a little bit. It's cutting about the same as the rest of it though I'm noticing. So bar change in the middle. Um, and then we'll have a little discussion I think at the end when I get a chance to actually see how they perform. That was 13,500.
about 22 inches across at the widest part this is a hybrid poplar tree it's some kind of experimental operation it's growing out in this field a long ways from any water source um, I think they did something with aspen but I'm not sure at this point I'm gonna have to do some more research I guess I don't think it's a cottonwood species tree I think it's the poplar version and so Anyway, it's got different bark than cottonwood does, and it's a little more white looking. Um, so they're trying some kind of experimentation of uh, growing these trees about 3,000. I think it's some high elevation operation, but it can't be positive. Anyway, I think we just watched the 462 get stomped by the 461. I actually have some clients that run these saws. They call them 481s. So I guess we're doing a little bit of an adjustment. Um, my bet is it's a couple seconds faster at least. Um, it is in a little bit higher state of tune so you would kind of expect that but people are talking about how the new technology is all this and that and uh, we're watching old school stuff stomp it into the dirt. So there we go. Anyway, um, I'm well pleased. I'm well pleased with how these saws perform. The platform is bulletproof. I think they're going to last a lot longer because we're not trying to do stratification with raw air. We're actually trying to do exhaust, except some guys are changing that a little bit when they're doing their work on it. Um, check the description for the timed runs. That part I'm going to scrutinize pretty heavily and then I'll post my findings in the description area and we'll see exactly if I'm talking out my rear at this point or not. But like feel wise, this saw pulls a lot better, a lot more torque on the chain. Uh, centripetal force of the spinning concept on the crank is making the chain go around in a much more authoritative fashion. How's that? So anyway, thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth.